Joining us now is Congressman Tom Cole of Oklahoma. Congressman Cole, thank you for joining us. Uh, I tried to lay it out there. Thank you, sir. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Obviously, you've got the trifecta, right? The House, the Senate, and the White House. And and we'll see. Um, (laughs) What is job number one and job number two? What is the legislative priority as you see it? Now, job number one is probably the repeal and replacement of Obamacare. Number two would be a major uh, tax overhaul. And then uh, there's some other things that have to happen, too. Border security, infrastructure, uh, frankly, the lifting of the sequester on the military. So it's going to be an exceptionally busy year going forward. And And I don't even count the deregulatory activity that I think the White House will take up from day one. Maybe you can confirm some stuff that, you know, we've read, but I've also made calls, talked to some folks in the Hill, around the Hill about infrastructure. And what I keep hearing, Congressman, is that there is no infrastructure bill. That's going to be DOA. It's not on the GOP agenda. Infrastructure, what the GOP wants, maybe not what Mr. Trump wants, will be rolled into a broader tax reform package. Is that what you're hearing or, or what you well, know? Well, that's certainly out there. Now, there, there, there's a lot of, uh, been a lot of hard work done, and actually bipartisan work on repatriation of stranded profits to help fund infrastructure through an infrastructure bank. But look, I, I think we're going to wait and see what the president-elect has to say. If he has a different idea or that's only one of a number of tools that he wants to use, frankly, I suspect uh, he'll be able to get out of a Republican Congress broadly the things that he wants, particularly in the opening year. You know, I, I remember back in 2008, 2009, there was a lot of talk about Keynesian economics, the stimulus packages uh, that were moving through Congress that a lot of people uh, opposed, a lot of people in the GOP opposed on, on that basis. And now it feels to me, Congressman, like we're, we're, we're embracing that kind of fiscal stimulus in a different way. How do you think uh, the Republican caucus in the House uh, which has been pretty, pretty aggressive about about key, holding the line on deficits, is going to react to a series of proposals that may, in fact, expand deficits and end up uh, uh, ballooning the federal debt. Well, there's certainly going to be a lot of skepticism about anything that does that. And frankly, I think there's a hope that eventually we will get to, and man, frankly, not so eventually. If you want to deal with the debt and the deficit, you've got to deal with entitlement reform. There's just no way around it. Uh, Over 60 percent of all federal spending is Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid. And frankly, to repeal Obamacare, they are that's deeply entwined in both Medicare and Medicaid. So you can't actually put the social safety net programs off the uh, off the table, so to speak. Congressman, I wanted to ask you about trade. I believe you were one of the Republicans that supported the TPP, President Obama's trade uh, Trans-Pacific Trade Partnership. We were talking with Larry Kudlow earlier on the show about this idea that you can still be a free trader as long as Trump's not talking about tariffs and you can still embrace this idea that it's America first and you're going to abandon the TPP and go at it unilaterally. Do you agree with that? Are you going to be on board with those kind of trade plans? Well, I actually never did support or, you know, took a position to be fair on TPP because I hadn't read it. I I knew from the minute both presidential campaigns were against it, it wasn't going to happen. This idea was going to occur in a lame duck when the country had decisively devoted for either of the two candidates that were against it, I think, think was always sort of an Obama administration fantasy. Uh, but I am a free trader. I've always voted for trade deals. And uh, uh, frankly, in my state, it's very good for agriculture, very good for the export of energy uh, equipment and machinery and technology. So, uh, and I've got a large Boeing presence in my district, and they're a major exporter. So I tend to be uh, inclined to be supportive of free trade. But I certainly don't have any problem with what uh, Larry Kudlow lined out. Uh, look, I, you can do this a variety of ways. Uh, and, I, you know, if we can find ways with bi- bilateral deals where we can negotiate better deals, that's good. I, you know, I frankly, I know a lot of people that uh, had some skepticism about the quality of the deal uh, that the administration was bringing back, not about free trade in general, but uh, about whether or not we had been bested at the negotiating table. I think that's less likely to happen with a President Trump. Congressman right. Cole, oh, you want to go no, ahead? No, sir. no, I'm done. I'm finished. We're, we're going to wrap it up, sir. A lot to discuss, but uh, we got a lot of other news as well, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Right. you too. Thank you. Fantastic.